What is going on guys, NanoPrince93 here back again with episode three of Growing Your Instagram. And today's topic that we're gonna cover is do giveaways work to increase engagement and increase traffic on your Instagram page? If you guys do follow me on at Fat Dude Eats, uh, let me pull it up here for you guys. So again, what I'm gonna do from now on is every video where I do the Growing Your Instagram series, I'm gonna do a screen recording and I'm gonna show you guys where we were compared to last video in terms of followers, in terms of engagement, impressions, just all the analytics, right? So I'm gonna post exactly where we were. I think we were at the low 600s last time, um, and now we're at 701. So, you know, a nice little increase from, I think it was about a week, right? And if I'm, if I'm doing anywhere from 50 to 100 followers a week, I'll take it, right? So I'm gonna show you guys the audience. We're up 82 followers uh, from compared to last week, minus one post compared to last week, so one less post. Um, everything is a little bit down, but not that much, right? I had a couple, what's it called? A couple um, posts that went a little bit viral. Viral in small Instagram page terms, right? So again, if you guys do want to follow me and follow the path and the journey of this Instagram account, but today what we're going to talk about, like I said, is giveaways, right? So I ran a giveaway back in when I hit 500 followers, and by the time I actually started the giveaway, I was already at 600. So what I did, right, so... Giveaways are used to get a lot of engagement, right? Get a lot of people to come to your post, come to your, come to your page, tag a bunch of friends, follow one account or two accounts, and again, just create traffic, right? Which is needed in order to grow your Instagram account. So on average, I would say, let's go to an average post, right? Let's go to this cheese one. I get, this is 38 comments, right? Pretty good. This non-video. 36 comments so and those are comments where I don't actually respond when I do respond to all of them Then you just double that so anywhere from 70 to 80, right? So then I go to the actual giveaway Right boom 131 comments, right? Because what did I do? So first off you see what I did in the caption right giveaway alert red exclamation points uh, I made rules right so what my rules were like the video follow me and caked up which is the person that I'm doing this giveaway with and then tag a friend in the comments and each comment or each tag counts as an extra entry, right? So if one person wants to tag 13 different friends, that's 13 different comments, that's 13 different entries for that person. So there was a little caveat in mind, you have to be in NYC to pick it up because you have to go in store. I wasn't gonna deliver a cupcake because that doesn't make any sense. The reason why you wanna ask yourself if it's worth it or not is because you're gonna have to put some money forward, right? So I offered two cupcakes, these are specialty cupcakes, about 450 a piece, so I spent $9. Round it up to 10 if you want on two cupcakes that are gonna be picked up by the person that won this, right? So again, what this does is creates a lot of traffic. Look, there's some people that, for instance, let me see. Let me find a specific comment. So like, dish, dish W Mish, but one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see that people are also engaging. So like they tagged a friend and those people are going in and tagging more people. So that's the idea. That's why I got to look. Look how many of this one person posted. Right? And there's a couple of those people that did that, that just kind of the viral fitness, smart fluence, wanna sport, multiple comments, which again, help get engagement because people are gonna see that. Like plates and scrapping, Long Island wine and dine, always noshing, pitch in the kitchen. They're gonna see that in their feed and be like, whoa, who posted this? Or who, like what is, why did somebody tag me in this, right? So if you guys wanna see the insights, in terms of likes, it wasn't amazing. In terms of views, it wasn't great, but Five shares, 23, 22 profile visits. That's huge, guys, right? I don't really understand how Instagram does a follows thing because I think I received like 35 followers from this, which is awesome because one of the rules was tag a friend and you must be following me, right? So these are call to actions, right? One, like the video, you have to like it. Two, follow me and Caked Up. So when you go to somebody, let's say, I know there's some people I just do like, here's a $10 Visa gift card that you buy yourself. But if you want to collab with somebody, tell them, I'll tell everybody who comments on this post that they have to follow you in order to be entered into the contest, right? So that gives them a reason or incentive to want to join in and want to also be a part of the giveaway. So for me, this giveaway worked wonders, right? One thing that I didn't do that I wish I did, which a friend told me, in order to create even more engagement, you can go to somebody who has like 200,000 followers, 500,000 followers, maybe even 50,000, and make a deal with them. Maybe you'll give them five bucks, maybe you'll give them 10 bucks, maybe you'll give them a cupcake from that same store and say, hey, post this on your story for 24 hours to create even more traffic. So all those 50,000 followers, 200,000 followers of people that what I wanna do next time for my 1,000 follower giveaway, which I'm already, I already know who I'm gonna do it with, 
which I'm not gonna tell you guys right now, um, is go to somebody like Neil Bay, right? 200,000 followers. I'm sure that you could, I could look DM for promotions, Florida, NYC. I'll DM and we'll be like, hey, I'll give you $10, I'll give you $5 to post this on your story for 24 hours. So everybody that sees your story will go to my account, tag a friend, and that just creates even more traffic. So instead of 130, maybe it doubles, maybe it triples. Maybe it only gives me a little bit more, but again, it's more traffic, and you gotta see if it's worth it for yourself. If you're willing to ante up 20 bucks for one giveaway between what is being sent or what is being bought from the actual store, and then trying to get somebody with more followers to promote it for you, by all means, go for it. That's a great way to get organic growth. Like, you never wanna go to one of those apps or websites where you can go and buy stuff. But you don't wanna buy followers, you don't wanna buy likes, you don't wanna buy impressions. It just doesn't work. It, there's nothing good for it in the long run. I mean, maybe somebody will see like, whoa, this person has 200,000 followers. But again, they're all bought like 200,000 followers with only 100 likes per post. There's something fishy about that, right? My engagement percentage is very, very good. You wanna have 10% usually, right? Like this is a post from earlier today. Nice and creative. So a good one would be like this cheese one. Kind of blew up a little bit, 1,800 views. 251 likes and I have 700 followers. What is that percentage off the top of my head? I wanna say it's like 35, 40%. That's amazing, right? You wanna have at least 10% engagement to have a good account. So at the end of the day, I think giveaways are a very, very good way to grow your account. They have to be relevant. So like for instance, I'm giving away food in a food account. You wanna create incentive for other people to join that giveaway. Or let's say like for, for instance, caked up, my incentive was I'll pay for the cupcakes and I'll tell them to follow you, right? Boom, that was easy. Um, and I knew them personally. Uh, the next one I'm gonna do is with a company in Florida. Um, I know them personally as well. So again, you just create traffic and kind of network. That's what it is, a social network, right? Kind of what I wanted to talk about, uh, talk about the importance of giveaways and if they work, right? So at every milestone, I recommend doing some sort of giveaway, whether it's you give them $5 through PayPal, $5 Amazon gift card, you know, 10 Hershey chocolate bars that you send via U USPS. It's totally up to you what you want to do. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, it gives you guys a nice little insight on whether or not giveaways are worth it. And until next time, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Comment below if you guys are using these tips and if you guys find these useful also. And if you guys have questions, also comment below. And if you like these videos, please comment below. Uh, tag your friends in these videos, share them, subscribe, because the more people that see these videos, the more likes I get, the more it gets seen. Right, so I just trying to help people out. And again, I'm just an average dude. I'm not paying for followers. I'm just trying to grow this thing as organically as possible. So that was episode three. That's gonna be it. Again, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Fat Dude Eats if you guys wanna see exactly what's going on and how I'm organically growing. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, guys. Peace. Thumbs up for the DBZ.